Hey guys, this is Tolhi, and this is just going to be a real quick video um, about debugging. So, uh, I had some people ask about the fact that I'm using F9 and F10 and F11 to go through, and they, they were saying they don't have F keys on their keyboard. So that's not a huge deal. Um, if you come in here and, oh, wrong one, view other windows, or view t toolbars, sorry, um, there's this debug one, which by default seems to be off, but if you just go into toolbars, debug, click, you get this little one here. This has the F5 key uh, on here, so you can hit this little green arrow, start debugging. Um, you can use the uh, F10 key to step... Oh, it's asking for input. Uh, and then F10 to step over. There's also uh, F11 to step into uh, we don't use that and there's also shift F11 to step out we don't use that either but we will eventually but these keys are all up here um, show next statement is taking you to where the the yellow arrow is you can hit shift F5 would be this little stop button that stops debugging um, there's also control F5 which by default isn't here so what you have to do is you have to go into uh, right click on this or click this little add remove buttons bar then go customize and then in here you can add a command go to the debug and come down here to start without debugging hit OK and that one there if we uh, close this will be that control F5 button so this one here is the one that won't will have that press any key to continue rather than just close uh, immediately so here are where all your buttons would be um, also, seeing as we're here, uh, let's do an extra one that I haven't gone over before, but is an interesting little uh, tool for debugging. Um, you can also uh, click here to take the breakpoints away and put them on. Um, so this is what happens when I hit F9, is putting the breakpoints here. But I'm just going to run this. Okay, here we go. Here's what I'm looking for, is this watch menu. So in this watch menu, you can type in variables, um, input value, and right now that's set to nothing, but once we hit F10, or if we were to click on this uh, one up here, uh, we'll see that becomes zero. And so this add watch allows us to see what these values are um, as we debug through. So just using these buttons up here to just show how it works, we can F10, F10, we get to the input input part and we can hit 5 and then enter and you'll see the value change to 5 down here because we're now watching input value you can also uh, right click on these and say add to watch it'll put them down here you can right click uh, clear all delete current watch you can add a watch this way um, which is just gonna let you type it in um, you can drag it down into here so you can loop loop is true as we can see so it's just another way of watching your variables so that you can don't have to hover over them to see what them are but you can drag them down in this little watch section and it'll give you consistent data all the time or constant update data of what's happening and then uh, yeah um, which is another way to watch your variables and make sure that they're doing what you expect them to Anyway, it's just a quick little debug thing. Um, so this is uh, Tolhi signing out. Later, guys.